it's right up ahead here in the driveway of all places. Definitive physical proof of the existence of fairies. doing up there? Our goats have put their new feeding station to the test. We've moved it from where it was in this corner, but where we put it, unfortunately it was a little too close to one of their log rounds and chaos ensued. You are bad goats. That is a bad goat behavior. No, no, no. Bad goat behavior. You too. You too. Everybody's in the way. Everybody is in the way. <laughs> None of the goats have been able to get back up on the roof since I moved this log round far enough away. No, nobody else, nobody else gets up on the roof. I was waiting to build the doe's feeding station until I could first see how our bucks treated this one. Well, now I know I will be altering my design for the Doze station. The roof will be different, but the overall design will be pretty much the same. So I don't really think I need to shoot any video of me building this one. If you're interested in how I did that, please check out our earlier video. I've reached a point in the construction of this goat feeder station where it's probably useful for me to go ahead and show you some of the differences between this one and that last one that I built. We're going with a plywood top, of course, on this one, and that should hold up to our goats. I've got two by twos clamped all the way around the outside. Two by twos rather than two by fours will save a little weight. That's actually the primary concern with this whole new design is to save weight. That last stand, Wendy felt was already a little bit heavy for her to move around comfortably. And this new one with the plywood top will be heavier. So I'm trying to save weight, weight wherever I can. There is no more wiggle room 
side to side or front to back, but we have the same amount of height for putting in the hay. The lip of this roof is much narrower than that last one, but we still have the same amount of clearance for the roof to be easily put on and taken off. After I screw down the two by twos to this roof, I'll put on some sturdier handles because I can with this plywood top. After that, I'll show you the new spring latch system for the, uh, for the roof corners. So I placed the handles slightly forward so it'll be easier to reach and they're at an angle simply because that seemed like the strongest way to, to grip and lift the roof off. One other thing, I'm taking Wendy's suggestion and I moved the support braces down on this stand so that they'll be even with the catch tray of the freestanding feeder. It'll just be easier access for the goats to stand on the outside of this feeder station and reach in for the, the hay and the grain. Shenanigan has been ignoring me today. Maybe it's just because I've been busy building the goat feeding station. You have to remember, I'm the only one who can see and hear her, and that's only possible for me when she allows me to. She might be somewhere nearby listening, but there's something I wanted to show you. It's right up ahead here in the driveway of all places. Definitive physical proof of the existence of fairies. Fairy scat, fairy dung, I don't know what it's called. It's not fresh. So she must be long gone. It is very rare to find this kind of evidence and really surprising to find it so close to our house. It's a very large deposit, especially for such a small ferry. The poor little thing must have had something wrong with her stomach. Oh, shenanigan. There you are. How can you be so rude? You know that isn't my poop. Well, I suppose it doesn't glow in the dark or smell like cinnamon toast. If you must know, my poop is invisible and it doesn't smell. So does that mean your farts don't... <laughs>
So does that mean your farts don't actually come out as little pink clouds of pixie dust? I... I never need to fart. Don't be stupid. So that means if I fart in bed, I can't just tell Wendy that it was you. If you did, you'd have to explain why I was in the bed with you. Good point. I really hadn't thought that one all the way through. You know I'm just teasing you, right? I don't like it. <clears throat> Let me try to explain something about being human. When a guy teases a girl, a lot of times it means he likes her and just wants more of her attention. Why don't you just say, I like you? and I'd like more of your attention. Humans don't always make sense. You know how fairies have different dances for different things? Well, human flirtation is kind of like one of your secret dances. Did you like the goat feeding station that I was building today? It's all right. It was fun watching the goats misbehave earlier. I sense a but. But what? But you just seemed more interested in them and your project than in me. Perhaps you needed a little attention too. By the way, have I mentioned how nice your smile is? You can always tell me that kind of stuff. Her teeth are very white and very straight. I would bet you used magic so you never had to have braces and you probably never have to go to the dentist. I don't need magic for that. Physical perfection is my natural state. I hadn't quite finished about your teeth yet, shenanigan. She has two long pointy ones in the front. They're proportional and cute. It's the, they're not like walrus tusks or anything. But wow, you wouldn't want to wake up to those chompers coming after you. Hey, I don't have vampire fangs. Oh, I see what you're doing. Why are you so needy? Isn't Wendy paying enough attention to you? She's stressed about work, and I'm giving her a little space. I can use magic to grow fangs. And I know just where to bite where it will really hurt. Seriously though, put those back. I don't like how this game is turning out. 